सदाशिवसंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा नैष्कर्म सिद्धि सेकंड चैप्टर पेज 85 verse number 109 introduction grahakadinishthaiva grahakadi bhava bhava vibhava vibhaga siddhihi kasman neti chet tadaha ಸುರೇಶ್ವರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಇಂಟ್ರಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಬೈ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಆರು ಪುರುಷ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ವಿವೇಕ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅರೈವ್ಡ್ ಎಟ್ ಬೈ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ through logic sankhya philosopher come to conclusion that consciousness and matter he separated both of them consciousness is called atma matter is called prakriti anatma from triangular format to atma anatma format or binary format we say triangular format means i am the jeevatma there is ishvara the creator and there is a world through which i am experiencing sukha and dukha so that triad jeevatma paramatma and jagat this triad is there in the beginning means for everyone before coming to shastra everyone is in triangular format only this triangular format is uh, reduced into binary format like atma anatma so this is a great achievement of sankhya philosopher scientists also cannot say this atma or the consciousness is a part of the body or the product of the body they are not able to decipher but whereas sankhya philosopher separated that atma and anatma both are different <coughs> but he committed two mistakes two mistakes are blenders we cannot uh, um, decide blender also is mistake only mistake also blender only why we use the word blender because a lot of uh, negative consequences comes according to our advaita sankhya philosopher committed the first mistake is atma bahutvam you have one consciousness i have one consciousness so your consciousness is experiencing the world my consciousness is also experiencing the world so and your experience and my experience there are many experiences by many consciousnesses so atma bahutvam is the mistake number 1 because of this um, uh, there is uh, no advaita possibility advaita according to that atma ekatvam ekaha eva Te, suppose uh, division you uh, accept um, that atma is always limited only 
that is why it becomes localized atma my atma experiencing the world your atma experiencing the world means it is a localized atma that localized atma is always limited atma that is the first mistake because of that i become the one of the witnesser of many witnessers <laughs> suppose i take many atmas are there if i accept sankhya philosophers opinion i am the um, one among so many witnessers you are consciousness is also one witnesser i am also one witnesser so one of the witnesser i am i cannot become the sarvatma that is the drawback then what is the second mistake we saw that is giving reality to atma and anatma a same order of reality both are belong to the same order of reality that is another mistake so matter is also getting the same Uh, reality just like atma therefore atma can never be totally free from anatma according to sankhya philosophy atma is also satyam anatma is also satyam how atma can be superior infinite if anatma is also satyam as satyam as sankhya as satyam as atma anatma matter is also satyam both of them are real dvaita problem comes so what we the advaitins do there this atnatma pramata pramanam prameyam prameyam jagat pramata the subject then pramanam the sense organs put together the triputi is lower order of reality i the atma i am the higher order of reality that lower order of reality pramata pramanam prameyam triputi is mithya shastram is only for the purpose of um, triputi nishedhartham sakshinah satyatva nischayam saksham that is uh, triputi is mithya for that is the purpose of shastra shastra is not coming to reveal sakshi chaitanya shastra is only for the purpose of uh, refuting or negating or nishedha of anatma the triputi matter therefore pramata means mind pramana means sense organs prameyam means jagat all of them including space time etc space time uh, causation karanatvam causation causality all these are not connected to atma they are all within atma in atma only space is there in atma only time is there in atma only causation discussion comes but atma is different from them that is why atma is turiyam avyavaharyam vyavahara rahitam you do vyavahara only in triputi vyavahara is possible in triputi जाग्रतवस्थायां व्यवहार स्वप्नावस्थायां व्यवहार इन ड्रीम आल्सो यू डू व्यवहार इन वेकिंग स्टेट आल्सो यू डू व्यवहार व्हाट अबाउट युअर व्यवहार इन स्लीप इन मूर्छा इन कोमा वेर इज द व्यवहार देयर व्यवहार इज नॉट देयर बट अव्यवहार अहम साक्षी इज देयर इन स्लीप आल्सो that is why in sleep anubhava i said in karana vritti he is known to sakshi i that is called sakshi anubhava sakshi anubhava means nothing but triputi rahita anubhava is sakshi anubhava 
in sleep there is no triputi but there is anubhava i slept well i do not know anything that you are telling after waking up that's why in every one of us sleep happily in sleep there is no sukha or dukha or any sort of uh, pratibimba ananda is not available sense are not there world is not there even the pramata is also not there in deep sleep but that ananda swarupam is witnessed by the sakshi aham he is there that is why triputi rahita susupti anubhava is sakshi anubhava you don't require any other uh, experience of sakshi that itself is a sakshi anubhava therefore grahakadi that word he says bhinna sakshikaha he is going to say in this shloka now what is puro pakshi's contention that we have to see why can't we are very particular that pramata pramanam prameyam or jadam they cannot know each other they cannot know themselves that is what i said in the last class pramata the knower subject cannot know himself pramanam sense organs also cannot know themselves prameyam also can they know each other na they cannot know each other so puro pakshi is telling why chidabhasa is also there why can't chidabhasa know that uh, um, pramata pramanam prameyam chidabhasa also existing because of chit sakshi chaitanyam where is the chidabhasa without sakshi chaitanyam chit therefore look into the line grahakadi first you have to take grahakadi bhava bhava vibhaga siddhi the condition of this presence of presence and absence bhava abhava vibhaga this classification siddhi means proof of what grahakadi pramata pramanam and prameyam three of them why can't they can be established grahakadhinishtha eva why can't they know themselves and know each other mutually grahakadhinishtha means pramata etc adipadat nishtha eva the proving power proving power pramata proving oneself i am the pramata pramanam proving itself i am the pramanam prameyam world proving itself i am the world why can't they prove themselves hmm? nishtha means here proving power proving power of themselves and others also why triputi have uh, only they witnessed by sakshi why not by each other why can't triputi itself know itself that is he is telling kasmanna iti why they cannot know each other why cannot they cannot know the absence of triputi by themselves chet tadaha for that the answer is given in 109 now up to here we saw in the last class now i'll give you the, Uh, the second shloka next shloka 109 shloka i'll read and give the meaning swasadhanam swayam nashtah nanasham vitya bhavatah atai vanachanesham atas atasau ato sau bhinna sakshikah mr dasa consolidating his answer to pura pakshi atma is what is birth what is death so to know the birth and death pramata has to know its existence pramata has to know its absence 
Suppose you ask like that, is it possible? No? It is not possible. So, abhava, prameya abhava, prameya bhava, pramatru bhava abhava, pramana bhava abhava. Bhava abhava means presence and absence, the existence and non existence, their existence and non existence. That is, uh, um, Pramata is resolved. How Pramata can know itself and know others? Resolved Pramata cannot know Pramata Abhava. In deep sleep, Pramata is not there. So only in Jagradavastha, Svapnavastha, also supported by Sakshi Chaitanya, only it is having that knowing power. So in sleep, Pramata himself is not there. How it can know? That is why it is Agama Pai. It is not uh, Nityam. Pramata Abhava. Resolved Pramata in deep sleep cannot know the non-existence of Pramata. I am not there. Uh, waker, time I am Pramata. Do I know that I am Waker is not there in deep sleep? I cannot know. That is why my abhava, pramata abhava, my and means here, vachartha I, pramata, the subject. Pramata cannot know the pramatra abhava. In the same way, uh, the resolved pramata cannot know the pramanam and prameyam also. Because then sargans are not functioning. And prameyam world is also not there in sushupti. Therefore, they cannot know. Ataha asau bhinna sakshikaha. Look into the shloka, word to word meaning. Swasadhanam, first word. Here you have to supply a word. Triputi. Triputi. Swasadhanam. Na veti. Vetya bhavataha is there. How you have to split? Make uh, two, three sentences, whole sloka. Triputi, so sadhanam. Here sadhanam means birth. Its own birth. So sadhanam na veti. Triputi cannot know its own birth. That is one statement. So sadhan. Triputi, so sadhanam na veti. So na is there in the middle. Vetti is there, last but one word. Na Vetti, number one. Then, Triputi Svanasham Va Vetti. Triputi Svanasham Va Vetti. Triputi cannot know its departure also, destruction also. It cannot know, that means death. Triputi cannot know its birth, Triputi cannot know, cannot know its death. Triputi cannot know its own uh, death or departure by itself. Swayam na veti, na swayam veti. It cannot know its birth, it cannot know its death, Triputi. And Triputi cannot know by itself. Na Swayam Vetti. This is the whole first line. First three words, three sentences like Triputi Swasadhanam Na Vetti. It cannot know by itself. Triputi cannot know Na Nashanam Nasham Vetti. It cannot know its death also. Therefore, Na Swayam Vetti. It cannot know by itself. It cannot know um, its birth by itself. It cannot know its death by itself. Then how we can know the birth and death of that uh, Triputi? Anna? Triputi cannot know. Who can know? Anna? That is Asau Bhinna Sakshikaha. Ataha Asau Bhinna Sakshikaha. Ataha, therefore, Ataha Eva Anyesham na veti. Since it, they cannot know, Triputi cannot know itself, 
its birth and death, it cannot know annyesham, it cannot know anything else by itself. That means without Sakshi Chaitanyam, independently, Triputi, Pramata, Pramanam, Pramayam cannot know anything else. They cannot know their birth, they cannot know their death, they cannot know anything else in the world by themselves. <coughs> Swayam Naveti, Swayam Nashtaha. So in the first line, middle, there is a, why they cannot know, why they cannot know themselves, na, Triputi cannot know itself. Na. Swayam Nashtaha. Because before birth it was not there, after death also it was, is not there, how it can know itself? Because before birth it is not there. Swayam Nashtaha. After death, it is not going to be there also. Swayam nashtaha, therefore it cannot know. That is the idea. Kuncham kashtama tonu. Here, that is. Uh, um, so, jnana has to be gained in savikalpaka avastha. Nirvikalpaka avastha, you cannot gain jnanam. This uh, Jagradavasthayam you require mind, pramanam and prameyam to get knowledge. So therefore, ata eva cha, ata eva na cha annyesham api bhava abhava na vetti. That you have to supply. What you have to supply? Ataha eva. Therefore, because of this above said reason, Triputi cannot know its birth, Triputi cannot know its death by itself. Therefore, Ataha Eva, birth, death means Bhava Abhavat. Yes. With Abhavataha, Swayam Nashtaha, because of that, Ata Eva. Nacha Annesham Api Bhava Abhava Naveti. Therefore, they cannot know the others. Anyeshamapi, their presence and absence they cannot know independently. Full stop you can put. What are all you have to supply? Ataha eva nacha ataha eva bhava anyesham api api onwards you have to supply. Anyesham is there in the mulam. Api supply bhava you have to supply abhava you have to supply na vetti na is there already in the mulam na vetti vetti is also there supply again in the second line also vetti is there in the first line that you have to supply here na vetti full stop ataha asau therefore this triputi bhinna sakshikaha it is known through only a different entity. It is known only through a different entity, not by itself, not by mutually they know. Pramata, Pramanam, Prameyam. They know only by another entity that is called Sakshi Chaitanyam Vinna Sakshikaha. Next page. Next verse, verse number 110, introduction. So, Bhinna Sakshikaha means Bhinna Sakshi Isya Saha Triputi. Bhinna Sakshikaha, the name of the Triputi. Bhinna Sakshikaha means what? Bahurihi Samasa. Bahurihi Arthe Kaf Pratyaha. Bhinna Sakshikaha. Triputi is that whose uh, witnesser is different. Uh, they cannot witness anything by themselves independently. They are able to witness, Pramata can witness the Pramadnam and Prameyam because with the help of Chidabhasa, blessed by Sakshi Chaitanya. That's why Bhinnaha Sakshi Yasya Sahatriputi. Now, the second, uh, next to this verse, 110. The proof um, of Triputi. The proof of Triputi require 
Sakshi further Sinchla Dasa continues uh, to prove that Vagar Pura Bakshi comes, he is not keeping quiet. So then finally, what we have come to a <laughs> little bit um, complicated subject. In Advaita Makaranda, Swamiji quote that shloka, Advaita Makaranda, it took long ago. It is there on a website also. Those who want, they can listen. The shloka comes in Advaita Makaranda. What is death and what is birth? The definition. Little bit of Tarka language is there. Logic. Nachesva janmana shamba drashtu marhati kaschana tau pragut Tarabhava Charama Pradhama Shanau. This sloka talks about the definition of birth and death. What is birth? What is death? Let us see what is the translation of this sloka. I will try my best. If you don't understand also, you will get moksha. Don't worry. Okay. But uh, see the how words are presented by our Shastra uh, beautifully. What it means, the shloka meaning is this. Nothing can know its birth and death. Nacha svajanma nashamba. Where another shloka, I am not talking about Nishkrima Siddhi shloka. This is Advaita Makranda shloka. Nacha svajanma nashamba. Nothing can know its birth and death. Sva, svasya nashaha. Svasya nashaha, nobody knows. I never know my death, I never know my birth. Correct? I can never know my birth and death. How, how is it like this? Once uh, uh, I am, suppose, once I am dead, okay, and the word sonala I like by Once I am dead, I am not there. Um, to know my death. Once I am dead, how can I know my death? I am not there to know my death. That's why nobody knows their death. Similarly, I cannot know my birth also. I cannot know my birth because before my birth, I am not there to know my birth. Before my birth, I am not there to know my birth. How can I know my birth? Okay, in the Tarka language, we will see how they put the same meaning. The sloka meaning I have given. Now, how they present, okay, what is birth and what is death, another format, another way of presentation. Birth is the last moment of the prior non-existence of a thing. This is the definition, Tarkika language. Hmm? Birth is the last moment of uh, the prior non-existence of a thing. I will explain this, okay. Uh, what it means in Sanskrit we say, Pragabhava Charamakshanaha is birth. Pragabhava Charamakshanaha. The Sanskrit sentence. What it means, meaning of this sentence, na, pragabhava charamakshanaha means the definition of birth. <laughs> okay, that means before the birth of a thing, before the birth of a thing, that thing was absent. Ardhani, this is born means what? Because it was not there. Prior non-existence. Prior non-existence, pragabhava. Prag means prior. Abhava means non-existence, pragabhava. So before the birth of a thing, thing means anything, anything in the world. That thing was an absent. Okay? And uh, the absence of um, um, the absence of that thing before birth is called prior non-existence. The absence of a thing, that thing which was absent is called prior non-existence. I will repeat, prior non-existence is nothing but the absence of a thing before its birth. That is the meaning. So when the prior non-existence ends, 
prior non existence ends pragabhava ends that ending moment charamakshana that ending moment um, ending moment of that prior non existent ending moment of the prior non existence is uh, defined as birth ending moment of the prior non existence of that thing is called birth <laughs> it is the language na so it uh, chisels your intellect if you go laser this is about birth then what is death death is also in sanskrit um, same way we have to present charamakshana same way means words have to be changed charamakshana abhava pradhamakshana charamakshana abhava pradhamakshana means what the death means death is the first moment of the posterior non existence death means death means first moment of the posterior non existence <laughs> suppose i want to know uh, i want to witness my death hmm? suppose i want to witness my death so charamakshana abhavaha the last moment of my absence charamakshana abhavaha huh? prathamakshana first moment i cannot experience my posterior non existence i cannot experience or witness my posterior non existence posterior non existence means nothing but death okay how can i witness my posterior non existence therefore i cannot witness first moment of my posterior non existence therefore i cannot witness my first moment of my posterior non existence enna language swamini idena adu or language tarkika language if you translate it's like that only therefore i cannot witness my death also what is the conclusion finally hmm? i cannot witness my birth i cannot witness my death here i means what not atma lower i lower i hi di a higher atma is birthless and deathless when we talk experiencing the birth and death means only lower i vyavaharika i okay this is birth and death uh, definitions now let us come to this um, pura pakshi's argument again again acharya is going to negate that also ग्राहक पेज नंबर 86 110 श्लोक इंट्रोडक्शन अनुबंधोक्ति ग्राहक देहे अन्य साक्षी पूर्वकत्व सिद्धे हे सो साक्षिणः अपि अन्य साक्षी पूर्वकत्वात् अनवस्था अनवस्था इति चेत् तन्न साक्षिणो व्यतिरिक्त हेत्वनपेक्ष अतः आह वेरी वेरी इन्वाल्व स्टेटमेंट्स नौ दे ग्राहका देहे सिद्धि अन्ये साक्षी पूर्वकत्वात् सिद्धे हे नर व्हाट वी आर टेलिंग बिकॉज ऑफ साक्षी ओनली त्रिपुटी इज अवेलेबल आई द साक्षी अलोन आई एम द विटनेसर ऑफ ब्लेसिंग द माइंड टू गेट द स्टेटस एज ए प्रमाता माइंड इज प्रमाता नोवर बिकॉज ऑफ माय ब्लेसिंग that's why pramata can be known witnessed by me the sakshi pramanam also witnessed by me the sakshi pramata is making use of pramanam sense organs because of chidabhasa without my help they cannot function their jadatvat bhautikatvat agama paitvat 
uh, lot of swatu swatu is there therefore they cannot uh, do any job without my blessing understand that's what uh, grahaka dehe that evidence of triputi bhinna sakshikah we said hmm? all these uh, the evidence of triputi is bhinna sakshikah you said hmm? ग्राहकादेहि प्रमाता प्रमाणम प्रमेयम अन्य साक्षी पूर्वकत्व सिद्धे हे सो अन्य मींस अदर अदर देन त्रिपुटी दे आर ऑल ओनली एस्टैब्लिश्ड बाय साक्षी ओनली पूर्व पक्षे इज आस्किंग इफ त्रिपुटी रिक्वायर्स साक्षी टू नो त्रिपुटी हाँ इफ त्रिपुटी इज रिक्वायर्ड साक्षी टू नो द त्रिपुटी साक्षी आल्सो मस्ट रिक्वायर अनदर साक्षी टू नो द साक्षी त्रिपुटी फॉर त्रिपुटी साक्षी इज रिक्वायर्ड वी आर टेलिंग फॉर साक्षी हू नो साक्षी वी सा दिस पोर्शन प्रीवियस्ली पोर्शन इन द सेंस दिस आइडिया वी सा अगेन निश्चल सुरेश्वर आचार्य वॉन्ट टू रिमैंड अस साक्षी आल्सो मस्ट बी मस्ट रिक्वायर वॉट अनदर समथिंग एल्स other than sakshi to know that sakshi sakshi required to know the triputi okay pura pakshi says okay i accept to oh, sureshwara acharya you are telling sakshi is required to know the triputi pramada pramanam pramayam now i want to tell you this sakshi also require another entity to know the sakshi sakshi can be proved only by another entity suppose i say sakshi also must require to something else to know the sakshi then what will happen uh, so sakshinah api purapakshi so sakshinah api for this sakshi also anya sakshi purvakatvat any other sakshi is required uh, other uh, witness consciousness is required to know this witness consciousness which witness consciousness is witnessing the triputi okay now you have to imagine uh, sakshi witnessing the triputi this sakshi must be witnessed by another sakshi any sakshi purvaka other second sakshi is required purvaka पूर्वकत्वात् सपोज अनदर साक्षी इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस साक्षी देन व्हाट विल हैपन सेकंड साक्षी इज रिक्वायर्ड टू नो द फर्स्ट साक्षी देन सेकंड साक्षी मस्ट बी विटनेस्ड बाय हुम देन थर्ड साक्षी थर्ड साक्षी इज रिक्वायर्ड थर्ड साक्षी विटनेस्ड बाय फोर्थ साक्षी अनवस्था इति चेत इट इज अनवस्था दोषम अनवस्था दोषम इफ यू से then no uh, it is not like that there is no second sakshi third sakshi fourth sakshi that no uh, your argument i don't accept avastha anavastha means uh, infinite regression infinite regression means what there is it is endless sakshi first sakshi second sakshi third sakshi it is endless infinite regression problem will come therefore that type of um, thinking opinion is not correct then no. then what is correct hmm? he says sakshinah vetirikta hetu anapekshatvat ata aha for sakshi first sakshi is sufficient there is no necessity of second sakshi third sakshi fourth sakshi at all sakshinah the witness consciousness other than that vetirikta other than sakshi another sakshi vetirikta means another sakshi sakshinah vetirikta anya sakshi ityartha hetu that reason that necessity anapekshatvat there is no necessity there is no such requirement anapekshatvat means not required pramanat no uh, sorry uh, not required anya sakshi is not required that's so therefore ataha aha i am going to 
explain you that in 110th sloka this clearly so uh, sakshi does not require or depend uh, a proof for its revelation that is given here divanna pekshate siddhim atman yasmad vikriyah nirapeksham apekshaiva sa here we have a small correction that there come you have to remove uh, see uh, after c there is a line you can strike off siddhyam tyanyena tu svayam siddhyam tyanye siddhi siddhyanti anne na tu svayam now look into the shloka he says um, this is uh, nothing but uh, uh, sakshi chaitanyam alone sakshi um, nischayartham eva shastram sakshi nischayartham triputi nishedartham shastram okay sakshi need not be proved by anything why न अपेक्षते फर्स्ट यू हाव टू टेक अविक्रिय लास्ट वर्ड यू सी अविक्रिय चेंजलेस मॉडिफिकेशनलेस चेंजलेस अविक्रिय देन निरपेक्षा सेकेंड लाइन यू कैन गो निरपेक्षा साक्षिण changeless um anyasmat siddhim na apekshate avikriya means changeless self changeless ahyartha self revealing i self revealing i where is it um, uh, siddhim आत्मा अन्यस्मात् आत्मा अन्यस्मात् सिद्धिम् आत्मा अन्यस्मात् द सेल्फ रिवीलिंग रिवीलिंग आत्मा अन्य निरपेक्षा हा ही निरपेक्षम् साक्षीनम् निरपेक्षम् साक्षीनम् that changeless atma which does not require any apeksha means which is not nirgataha apekshaha esmat nirgata apeksha esmat esya saha saha tam nirapeksham nirapeksham apekshaiva without expecting any other entity something else to prove the sakshi the sakshi धीवत न उपेक्षते जस्ट लाइक धी इंटेलेक्ट इज जडम बाय इट सेल्फ इट रिक्वायर्स चिदाभाषा टू फंक्शन बुद्धि टू फंक्शन चिदाभाषा इज रिक्वायर्ड बट साक्षी टू फंक्शन व्हाट चिदाभाषा इज रिक्वायर्ड नॉट रिक्वायर्ड देवरफॉर धीवत न अपेक्षते सी धीवत न अपेक्षते आत्मा अन्यस्मात् अन्यस्मात् अविक्रिया हा इट इज डिफरेंट इट इज चेंजलेस निरपेक्षम् साक्षीनम् दैट वी कैन टेक सेकंड लाइन लेटर अविक्रिया हा आत्मा अन्यस्मात् सिद्धिम् न अपेक्षते फ्रॉम अदर थिंग्स इट नेवर इट डेसेंट रिक्वायर यू नो एनीथिंग फॉर इट्स प्रूफ दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ़ द फर्स्ट लाइन then second line it says nirapeksham sakshinam apeksha eva siddhyante siddhyante anni anni means pramata pramanam prameyam all of them siddhyante siddhyante 
सिद्ध्यन्ति अन्ये सिद्ध्यन्ति अन्ये ऑल दी त्रिपुटी आर एस्टाब्लिश्ड अवेलेबल न सिद्धि मीन्स व्हाट प्रमाता एक्जिस्टेंस प्रमाणम एक्जिस्टेंस प्रमेय एक्जिस्टेंस ऑल ऑफ देम निरपेक्षम साक्षिणम अपेक्षये वा साक्षिणम यू हैव टू सप्लाई दैट साक्षी व्हिच डजेंट रिक्वायर एनीथिंग एल्स फॉर इट्स एक्जिस्टेंस इट इज इंडिपेंडेंटली एक्जिस्टिंग बट ऑल अदर त्रिपुटी अपेक्षे एव सिद्ध्यन्ते सिद्ध्यन्ति अपेक्षा मीन्स विद द नेसेसिटी रिक्वायर्ड बाय दे रिक्वायर दैट अन्य 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 मीन्स हियर त्रिपुटी सिद्ध्यन्ति दे दे आर एस्टाब्लिश्ड दे कैन बी Established means what? Their existence can be accepted. That is, uh, uh, they lean upon the Sakshi. Therefore, what? Uh, natu Swayam. Natu Swayam. They cannot uh, independently uh, away, prove their existence. Natu Swayam Siddhyanti. You can supply again. They cannot independently establish themselves, independent um, with regard to revelation of its existence. Atma is independent with regard to its revelation. Triputi is dependent with regard to its revelation. Dependent upon what? Sakshi Chaitanyam. Sakshi need not depend upon anything for its revelation. That is the Swayam they cannot. Atma Swayam Prakashate Swayam um, independently establish by itself its existence. Next sloka 111 um, introduction. Yato Eva Tasmat Anvaya Vyatireka Bhyam Vibhajyam Anatmanaha Swayam Therefore, Pramata is Jadam. It cannot to prove by itself. Pramata Jadatvatu, it cannot prove itself. Pramata who means what? Antakkarana. Antakkaranatvatu, Jadatvatu, Bhautikatvatu, they cannot prove themselves. Sakshi will not require another Sakshi. Finally, what? Sakshi is Swayam Prakashaha. Ajadatvatu, Abhautikatvatu, Chaitanyatvatu. All these are Teriyungalke. Illa, this is like a revision. Okay. But to get clarity further, Siddhi, Naishkarma Siddhi, yeah. Siddhi means what? Establishing in that truth. So, mind is uh, instrumental and object, playing the role, two roles. Mind is serving as an instrument also, mind is serving an object role also. So, Aham Satyam Triputi Mithya, all that. Final conclusion. Mm. Now look into the introduction. Yataha, because it is also Anmaya you have to do properly. Graha Kadishu Atma Bhavaha. Graha Kadishu Pramata Pramanam Prameyam. All of them, when we are using. Pramata, I am the knower, Atma Bhava, identification with that Pramata. I am seer, I am the knower, I am eater, I am walker, I am sleeper. Allah poyi appa. But what do you do? Atma Bhava, Naneda. I am the seer, Nanda Pakari, Nanda Sapari, Nanda, 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 Nani Lai, and the Tirinjuko. Atma Bhavaha means identification with that Grahakadi Pramata Pramanam Prameyam Triputi 
ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಸನ್ನು ಮೈ ಡಾಟರ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಮ್ ಸಣ್ಣ ಪ್ರಮೇಯಂ ಓಕೆ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಸಣ್ಣ ಡಾಟರ್ ಆಲ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಪ್ರಮೇಯಂ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಮಾಣಂ ಯು ಆರ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣಂ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಮಾತ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಮಾತ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣಂ ವಿತ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ರಮೇಯಂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಫಾದರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೋನ್ ಸೋ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಮದರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೋನ್ ಸೋ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆತ್ಮಭಾವ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ನಿಬಂಧನ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ದ ರೋಲ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ದ ರೋಲ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಮದರ್ ಬಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಸೇ ಯುವರ್ ಫಾದರ್ ರೋಲ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಮದರ್ ರೋಲ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಈವನ್ ಗುರು ರಿಯಲ್ ರೋಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸು ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವ್ಯಾವಹಾರಿಕ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾರಮಾರ್ಥಿಕ ದಟ್ ಸೇ ಪ್ಲೇ ಯುವರ್ ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ನೆವರ್ ರೋಲ್ ವಿತ್ ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಪ್ಲೇ ಯುವರ್ ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಬಟ್ ನೆವರ್ ರೋಲ್ ಅವೇ ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ರೋಲ್ ಅವೇ ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎಮ್ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಮಿಸರಬಲ್ ಬಡಿಲ್ಸಮ್ ಬೋರ್ಡಮ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಗಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ದ ರೋಲ್ ವೆಲ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ರೋಲ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಎಗೇನ್ ಎಗೇನ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ರಿಪೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ವೈ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ರೋಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ನಿಬಂಧನ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಯ ಯತ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಏವ ಆನ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಕ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಕೆನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಏವೋತ ಏವ ಅತಃ ಏವ ಫುಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಪುಟ್ ತಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಅನ್ವಯ ವ್ಯತಿರೇಕಾಭ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ತ್ರಿಪುಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಅಭಿಮಾನ ತ್ರಿಪುಟಿ ಅಭಿಮಾನ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೀಯರ್ ನೋವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವರ್ ಆ ಹಾ ವಾಟ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ನೈಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇ ಆರ್ ಇ ಆರ್ ಇ ಆರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಂಜಾಯರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ತಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಅನ್ವಯ ವ್ಯತಿರೇಕಾಭ್ಯಾಮ್ ಬೈ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಅನ್ವಯ ವ್ಯತಿರೇಕ ಆತ್ಮಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ವಯ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ಲಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅವಸ್ಥಾಸ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವ್ಯತಿರೇಕ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಜಾಗ್ರತ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಾಗ್ರತ್ ಜಾ ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸುಷುಪ್ತಿ ಸುಷುಪ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಾಗೃತ್ ಬೇಕರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪರ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಡ್ರೀಮರ್ ಡ್ರೀಮರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ವ್ಯತಿರೇಕ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಸಿವ್ ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಿಭಜ್ಯ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ತ್ರಿಪುಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಮನೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಜಡಂ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಭೌತಿಕಂ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಗಮಾಪಾಯಿ ಐದಿ ತುರಿಯಂ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಅನ್ವಯ ಅನ್ವಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ನೋ ಆಬ್ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ತ್ರಿಪುಟಿ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಮಾಪಾಯಿ ವಿಭಜ್ಯ ಅನಾತ್ಮನಃ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಮೇ ಯು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸ್ವಯಂ ವಿಭಜ್ಯ ಮೇ ಯು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮನಃ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಿಂ
to say I am Asangaha. We should not say world is the victimizer. I am victimized. Hmm? God is savior. Uh, savior, God. World is victimizer. I am victimized. Come out of that notion. Okay. You are the Adhishthanam of this universe. My Eva Sakalam Jatam. I lend existence to every object. I lend Sadabhasa Chidabhasa. Sadrupena Chidrupena Ananda Rupena Ahameva Asmina. Ahameva Asmina Kutra Asmi. Hmm? Sarvatra. Sarvatra Asmi. Now, Sloka, I will read. From this identification of this uh, Triputi, I have to distance myself. That is the idea. Utpatti sthiti nasheshu yovagatyeva vartate jagato vikaraya vikaraya avehi sorry jagato vikaraya vehi tamasmiti nanashwaram yaha abagatya whoever knows this is a nididhyasana shloka nididhyasana shloka abagatya means itham bhave tritiya that means sakshi rupena Chaitanya Rupena Vartate Avagatya Eva Vartate Yaha Avagatya Whoever is there in the form of Sakshi Rupena or Chaitanya Rupena Satta Rupena Ananda Rupena Vartate Avagatya means you can supply all those. Sadrupena, Chidrupena, Anandarupena, Vartate. Vartate, then what? Um, Utpatti Vinasheshu Srishtistiti Laya Kale eh? Avikaraha Avikarataya Avikaraya, no? Vikara without Vikara. Without any Vikara, without any change. Srishti is changing, Stiti is changing, Laya is also a type of change. Therefore, what? No? I am changeless. I am changeless. Avikaraya. Avikaraya avehi. Jagataha utpatti. Jagataha utpatti. Jagataha stiti. Jagataha nasha. All these are. Hmm? Happening where na? avikaraya tam avehi. May you know that who is the Chaitanya Rupena, Chidrupena, Sakshi Rupena, Ananda Rupena, Vartate. May you know that Atma Sakshi Chaitanyam as the entity without any change, in spite of this Utpatti, Stiti, Laya are going on in the Anatma. Tam avehi. May you know. Tam means sakshinam. Tam sakshinam avehi. Who is the sadrupa, chidrupa, anandarupa, who is changelessly there in this changing universe? Not only that. Tam ahamasmi iti avehi. Aham tam asmi iti is there. After asmi iti, full stop you can put. Tam sakshinam aham asmi iti. That sakshi who is witnessing the creation, sustenance and destruction of this universe. Changelessly, uh, atma i the sakshi, I am in as consciousness, existence, principle, ananda swarupena aham. I am. May you understand. Avehi means may you understand. Vijanihi ityartha. Na nashwaram iti avehi. May you not take yourself of that, uh, yourself as that which is having birth, death. Uh, I am born, I am having death, and birthday, and uh, uh, celebrating, giving chocolate. Uh, 
So body is having birth. Give chocolate. Nothing wrong. Body has birth. Hmm? I, have, I am born means lower I is born. Body is born. So uh, really speaking, I the Atma am uh, Nashwaram um, Dehinam. Nashwaram Triputi Nashwaram Dehinam. Atma, anatmanam na avehi. May you not aham iti na avehi. That is the idea. Changeless atma. Whenever you say uh, no ananda, suppose uh, that is only reflected ananda. <laughs> no ananda, happiness, and uh, reflected ananda is not there. Original ananda can never go anywhere because original ha ananda happens to be sat chit. Satchit is myself, therefore, therefore what? Never claim Ananda Manashanti as Moksha. Mind Manashanti is only a, a not a real Moksha. Manashanti comes, Manashanti also comes in the mind. In spite of Manashanti, Manashanti, I am the truth Satyam, like that. Adida. Na Nashwaram never claim I am. Okay. More in the next class. Om Pur Namadah Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nami Bhava Sishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari he om.